to our fasting Friday for LCF Lifestyle Talk with your truly Dr. Josephine Grace Rohotan and today nandito tayo in Shinkansen Train also known as the Bullet Train dito in Japan and yung pag-uusapan natin today for fasting Friday is the three things that you can do para maging successful yung inyong pagpapasting every morning because mostly marami yung nagsiskip ng breakfast in order to achieve yung kanilang IF schedule. You can choose either skipping breakfast or skipping dinner. Bakit hindi pwede yung skipping lunch? Because intermittent fasting, minamaximize nga yung time na wala kang kain. Whereas, if you skip lunch, pero early ka na breakfast and then late ka rin nag dinner, so yung window na kung saan ang katawan mo ay hindi naka-fasting, hindi nagpo-produce ng ketones and naka-depend on glucose metabolism or eto yung tinatawag natin fed state is actually shorter and when it comes to intermittent fasting its benefit is proven when there is higher or longer time na naka-fasting so paano ito gagawin? so just count from your last meal so kailan yung last meal niyo? if you will count like say for example from last night kung last na kain niyo is around 7 in the evening by 7 the next day that is already 12 hours of fasting kung wala naman kayong pinaglalaban you don't have any illness wala rin kayong mga kailangang weight loss and any other aspects na nangangailangan ng healing then you can already enjoy breakfast by 7 in the morning however if you think kailangan nyo pang mag ng weight, especially fat weight, and you also want to increase your metabolism, you also want to increase your growth hormone production, and of course, maximize yung autophagy or yung part ng benefit ng fasting na nire-recycle niya yung mga parts and components ng ating cells na hindi na ganun ka-effective. So, so that kapag nagkaroon ng autophagy, malilinis ito and your body, your system will function better. So, the maximum autophagy na nakikitang merong optimum talaga na ma-maximize yung kanyang effect is at 3 days of fasting. But I know, hindi naman lahat kaya yung 3 days of straight water fasting. It needs some training. Kailangan dahan-dahan, huwag biglain. So, that's why it's also good news that autophagy can already start to kick in by 18 to 24 hours and especially if you eat the right foods when you have your eating window open kapag pinuksan mo na yung inyong oras sa pagkain if you eat clean foods then all the more na magkakaroon kayo ng higher chances of maximizing autophagy especially na hindi na tayo nag i pa ng more toxins sa ating katawan if we are eating clean foods so for those that are fasting in the morning, ano yung usually yung ginagawa? So, for me, meron kayong pwedeng tatlong gawin. The first one would be, tumunganga, maghintay kung kailan mag-open yung inyong window. You can use that time to meditate, you can use that time to pray, or to just savor the morning, like now. So, we can savor the beauty of Japan. This is a trip from Kyoto going to Tokyo and we are hoping na makikita natin mamaya si Mount Fuji. We will show you if ever it will be showing itself. And the first one na tumunga nga is okay if you will make use of that time to meditate or pray or just keep be on silence because being on silence um, maximizing the time na wala muna kahit anong distractions is actually also like fasting for our brain. It cleanses our thinking, it cleanses our head, and as much as others will consider it as wasting time, pero malay nyo, maybe during those silent moments, ay do nyo mal- makikita or maiisip yung inyong a solution sa inyong problems or you can think of ways and means if ever meron kayong project na gustong gawin and the bright ideas, the creative ideas usually come on those calm, silent moments. So I hope you can make use of that time para ma-extend yung panahon na hindi lang basta naghihintay lang kayo kung kailan kayo kumain and before you know it, if you keep on practicing it, magugulat na lang kayo that you are already past your 
time para kumain and you can already enjoy your food. So that's the first thing that you can do. Hindi lang basta tunganga, tumunganga, but just do nothing. Do nothing. Be on quiet. Be in a quiet place and save for the time na you are alone with your own thoughts. And that way, you can be productive while cleansing your body and you are also cleansing your mind. However, I know na hindi lahat ganon ka available when it comes to having a silent moment in the morning so what you can do for many of us who are working is number two magpaka busy so if meron kayong kailangan gawin then you can just be at your busiest be your most productive in the morning and magugulat na lang kayo how your productivity will actually increase it will increase in such a way na yung baka yung mga to-do list mo in the afternoon ay tapos mo na before lunch time and when you do that comes lunch time you can enjoy and savor your first meal ng walang pressure kasi tapos mo na yung inyong gagawin contrary to other thinking na kapag wala daw kain walang breakfast sila ay nanghihina the moment that you are already used to fasting you can see that your body your brain will actually function more especially na kapag naka low carb kayo hindi lang fasting you will be fueling on ketones and when you will be fueling on ketones arigato gozaimasu so when you are fueling on your ketones then you can safely say that your metabolism will keep providing you with energy kahit wala kayong kinakain because your body will always have that reserve na mga fats na energy in the form of triglycerides, in the form of fatty acids, in the form of glycogen na pwede nyo magamit in times na wala pa kayong kain. And our body is well adapted to that. In fact, mas nagkakaroon nga ng problema sa ating pangangatawan kapag parati tayong kumakain. Kailangan meron talagang panahon that we are not eating to give way for our body to reset to make use of those na naimbak over the, over time. So, if hindi pa kayo naka-try na mag-fasting, intermittent fasting, then all the more na kailangan nyo itong subukan because your body probably has been dying to have a break from all of these food intake. So, that's the second thing that you can do. And it's something that I usually do as well. Today, naka-fasting pa rin kami. It's already around lunchtime. Yan, yung araw ay matirik na. And it's okay. What we have is just coffee. So, meron kaming baong coffee and just water. Meron ka namang kayong pwedeng mainom. Hindi naman kailangan na dry fasting talaga. Although, dry fasting can also have its own benefit when done the right way. Pag-uusapan natin yan in another day, in another time. But today, just it be enough just be contented to know na if ever first time you're fasting you can take water you can take coffee na plain plain tea pwede ring turmeric pwede ring ginger if you want that kung hindi naman humahap de yung chan ninyo and every time na meron kayong na nararamdaman like pagkakaroon ng headache and pagkakaroon ng panghihilo panghihina maybe you just need salt huwag kayo magpadala agad-agad na baka kailangan ninyo ng sugar you just need a pinch of salt every time hindi lang one time yung pinch of salt because I've heard others na yung kanilang pag take ng pinch of salt is just once in a day no you can take a pinch of salt every time you feel like you need it but of course for those na merong mga ininom na nagamot especially you uminom ng gamot for diabetes then maybe it's really hypoglycemia so kailangan well monitored yung inyong blood sugar kaya kailangan before you do low carbon fasting you have to consult your physician or of course we have our low carb physicians available para magabayan kayo so that it will be a very safe and therapeutic na fasting nga for healing so those are the things that you can do and lastly what else you can do para maging successful yung inyong fasting time if hindi nyo hindi nyo gustong magkaroon ng silent time and if wala rin kayong work but you want 
to avoid being bored at ma-preoccupy ka lang ng food is, ano yung number three? It's also one of my favorite. It's sleeping. So, you can just extend your sleep in the morning if you want to be successful sa inyong pag-fasting. If you sleep, it's especially if you do it uh, the proper way. Ginawa nyo yung sleep hygiene natin the night before, which is saying no to artificial lights. Wala mo ng gadgets. One to two hours before your bedtime. And also, try to relax before sleeping. You can make sure that your body is going to heal the best way. Sometimes, sa simula, you might notice na yung katawan ninyo ay parating naghahanap ng tulog. And that may be a sign that your body needed its much needed rest for the longest time. So if you feel like you're sleeping, you can just continue to sleep and you will just wake up the moment na ready ka na to start your day. So sleeping, hindi siya katamaran, okay? It can be maximized for healing, especially for those with serious conditions like cancers, certain na mga diseases na end stage so you might feel like you always want to sleep so hindi nyo kailangang kontrahin yan you can listen to your body eat the right foods when you are hungry and what is important is when you do rest it's a melatonin melatonin rich na kind of rest i think we've discussed in other videos on how to increase your melatonin production during sleeping to maximize those benefits and those are the things that you can do so three things that you can do to be successful on your fasting would be one is to have some silent time some quiet time to meditate to pray and to just be there be present be in the moment number two is to be productive especially sa merong mga trabaho sa merong maraming chores sa bahay na nakalinya na every morning and lastly you can also choose to just sleep so alin sa tatlong ito yung paborito niyong gagaw ginagawa and if you have other things that you do na hindi kasama sa tatlong options na ito you are very welcome to share them sa ating comment section so we can also inspire others in our community to do better and be successful sa kanilang fasting journey. So, maraming salamat guys. I will see you again in our next video. Right now, let's just enjoy the view and hopefully I'll see you in Boracay on November 29 and December 4 naman in Ortigas for those na nangangailangan ng guidance on diabetes who want to learn it the fastest, easiest way, we have a webinar on December 6. So, live webinar ito wherein questions will be entertained. So, I hope to see you there. And lastly, in Mindanao, we will have our year-ender meet and greet in Davao for 2022. Just send a message to our admins if you wish to know more about it. Limited lang po yung slots and I hope to see you on those dates. Maraming salamat everyone. Stay low carbs, stay safe. Bye!
Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, you can see more contents in our YouTube and Facebook channels at Dr. Josephine Grace Rojo and Dr. Josephine Grace Rojo Tan, respectively. For those who wish to be guided, we have an ongoing structured learning program where we will teach you how to adapt a low carb and fasting lifestyle for healing specific modern day lifestyle diseases like diabetes, hypertension, cancer, fatty liver, PCOS, GERD, and many more. You can send an email to our admins or send a DM in our inbox. I hope to see you all there. Thank you so much. Stay low carb, stay safe. Bye!